welcome back to my channel. I'm James. Today we're going to be doing an advanced review and deep diving into Blue Beetle on 4K Ultra HD. This is the DC Comics origin story that just recently came out here in 2023. Now I can tell you this is one of those I did not get to see in theaters originally here, but I was excited for it because I do like a lot of these origin stories. If done correctly and with some good writing, they can turn out pretty well. Well, this is one of those I did get in a full week early for review. So today I'm gonna share all my testing results, give you my review score at the end, to let you know if this is one you should buy and add to your collection when it comes out in about a week from now. Now I can tell you as far as the film, I do want to touch on my thoughts on the film here. The film has an enjoyable mixture of family drama with humor and quite a bit of lighthearted comedic elements all mixed together in a superhero origin story. That's very enjoyable. I was actually surprised at how much I did enjoy watching the film. It's rare that I'll say a lot of superhero origin stories get the comedic elements timed correctly with the family drama. A lot of the times they kind of throw the family off to the side and it's kind of, hey, here's a family, but we're never gonna talk about them again. They're never gonna show up again. And I really felt like they tied together greatly in Blue Beetle that I really enjoyed it. And as a family man myself, it's a really enjoyable family film you can watch with a family that brings all the different characters. There were some really funny comedic beats to it that I think made the film even more enjoyable because I didn't really expect it to be as lighthearted or comedic as it really was, and it blended together well with the superhero elements. Now I will tell you the CGI on this does look better than The Flash. Now I did talk about The Flash in my top 10 about how I love the Dolby Atmos and the 4K image on that, but the downside, if you wanna check out my review of that, you can, it's available in that video, but the downside of The Flash was the actual CGI computer effects elements on the flash were not as well done. They weren't finished as well. There were still things they thought kind of looked plasticky and just overall it could have used some more refinement. Well, the good news on Blue Beetle is, is it does have a much more refined and it looks like it had a lot more time put into finishing the CGI effects, which lends to the more realistic look of it. And it does look a whole lot better CGI wise and it looks like it had, I mean, honestly, even though it didn't have a massive budget as the flash did, the CGI looks better on this and it did blend more into the film and I really enjoyed like, as you see on here, like the purples and the blues and, and they mixed that together with like 80s and 90s music as well. So it had a really good feel that I was surprised with this film because it did have one of those feelings that when you're done watching it, you said, man, that was a fun time. I enjoyed the humor and it was a good story. If after you get done watching this video and hearing my review score, you do decide you want to buy Blue Beetle on 4K Ultra HD, I put the direct Amazon sale link right below as a pinned comment in the comment section right below this video. Those links down there never cost you, the viewer, even a penny extra, but they are very important to this YouTube channel. Those links down there help to support the creation of these videos and they don't cost you ever a penny extra. So make sure if you're gonna buy Blue Beetle after watching this video, make sure to go down and click through that Amazon sale link I posted right down below. Now diving more into my testing on this, this is a native 4K 2160p. And I can tell you this does have both Dolby Vision and HDR10 on it. Between the two of them, the Dolby Vision was the easy winner on this one. It was an easy 5% better color tones. It just looked more vibrant without going into the area of where it's just color bleed everywhere. It's just like the purples and basically the blues and the magentas and all those colors really did just pop just slightly more on the Dolby Vision than the HDR10. But the HDR10 still looked really good. And you'll understand when I get to my review score because overall, that native 4K image with the Dolby Vision and HDR10 implementation is done really well. It has brilliant whites, inky blacks, no black crush, but it really lends to the colors where like when that HDR and that Dolby Vision is really like just shining through out of a dark sky and then you have like the blues coming out or the purples, you know, from his suit, Man, it looks really beautiful. Now, talking about the 4K image, now when the live actors are present on this, instead of the CGI versions, you do notice great depth and detail in the image. Now, as I did reference earlier in this video, compared to the Flash from DC Comics earlier this year in Warner Brothers, um, the CGI in certain scenes in that was not as finished as it is in this. So this does have better depth in those CGI scenes where all of the basically special effects and things, it does look better on this, they're more finished and polished. 
But I will tell you, compared to when you actually see the physical actors and they're in the scene where you can see depth and detail hairs on their faces, you know, the grandma on this, she's funny. But I will say like in her, you know, she's got wrinkly skin cause she's old. And man, the depth and detail you can see in that native 4K image for the actors is really nicely impressive. And I was surprised at how good it does look in those elements. Now, if you enjoy movies and TV series, this channel is the place for you. Make sure to go down there, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this earlier exclusive content. Now, touching on one other big treat we got in this release is the English Dolby Atmos mix. It was very surprising. I was actually really surprised at how immersive and strong it was. It had some great use of LFE, and because there's numerous scenes where there's like flying around and obviously he's in his suit, they really use those height channels well and you can hear things going above and around you. And I did really enjoy it and was surprised that it was one of those that really pulled me into the film. And I felt like I was sitting inside the film, which is what I really want out of a Dolby Atmos mix, as I've talked about before. And this one did that job very well and I really did enjoy it. Now, showing what you get in this. This is the 4K Ultra HD one. I love this slip cover. It is so shiny and has all these beautiful colors on it. I love purple. And on the side here, it says Blue Beetle. On the back, it talks about it. Now, in this case, you do not get a separate Blu-ray disc. You get your 4K Ultra HD disc only in this set. And it includes all of your special features like Blue Beetle Generation, Scarab Vision, Blue Beetle's Nana, Knows Best all included on the 4K Ultra HD disc. So you don't have to go to a separate disc anymore. It's all included on the 4K Ultra HD disc. Now you also get a Movies Anywhere digital copy code. So if you wanna redeem that, it's available as well. Now inside here, this is your disc and you'd have your digital copy code right here. I do like the scarab, the purple scarab on top of here. I liked the artwork on this. I think overall Blue Beetle just has a cool feeling behind it that I really did enjoy. The overall stylistic and art direction with the purple and magentas and blues, it just, it was a really cool color concept for me. It kind of differentiated it from other superhero films. And I kind of like that element as well that kind of sold it for me. The music tied with it just kind of gave me an 80s, 90s vibe. Now, talking about the rough average bitrate, I dived into this and tested this, and I will tell you, it has a very surprisingly high and healthy 72 megabits per second, which lends to why the image looks so good from beginning to end, and really has just a really nice image presentation on this 4K release. You tie that all together with the Dolby Vision and the Dolby Atmos, and man, it was really enjoyable that I did not expect to get out of this 4K release. Now getting to my review score for Blue Beetle on 4K Ultra HD, this gets an excellent 9.4. This is a must buy you need to buy and add to your collection. I think you'll be very surprised if you have not seen this film yet, how comedic and enjoyable it is. It kind of drastically differentiated it from a lot of superhero origin stories that have come before, especially from DC Comics. A lot of DC stuff recently has been darker and I do like that element of it, but sometimes I'm looking for something more lighthearted that the kids can watch with me that's a fun time without it being so dark or so intense. And I really felt like this did a great job of blending all those elements together, especially like I said, that family drama really made it fun for me. And I say the whole family really enjoyed it. So it is one of those films I highly recommend buying and adding this 4K to your collection. 9.4 is a must buy. You will enjoy the Dolby Atmos, the Dolby Vision. It's one of those that did surprise me. Let me know if you've seen Blue Beetle yet. Are you a big DC Comics fan? Do you love the DC Comics films? This is supposed to be included in the new universe that James Gunn's doing. So I do like that element of it. I do think it fits to what I see that they're planning to do. And I like that. And I do hope we get a sequel to this film because I like what they built with this universe. I love the characters in it. And I do think the elements of what they're building with this is a fun time, which is different for some of the DC universe than what's come before it. So I like that element of it. Let me know down below, have you seen this yet? Are you excited to get this upcoming 4K release? I worked really hard to get this review out to all of you as soon as possible because I did get it in a week early for review. That way you know if this is something that you wanna buy. Make sure if you're gonna buy this or add this to your collection now, use those direct Amazon sailings I posted right down below. Those are always extremely important to the creation of these videos. They never cost you, the viewer, even a penny extra when you click on them. 
but they are really important for me to be able to continue doing this. So as always, if you're gonna buy any of these, use those direct Amazon sale links right down below. If you wanna help to support this channel as well, you can always join my Collectors VIP Club. It costs you a couple of bucks. After the 35% YouTube takes, I get about a buck. That goes back into the creation of these videos as well. That's how I can spend all this time testing, analyzing computer software. It's all time consuming and very expensive. So if you wanna to help to support this channel even more, join my Collectors VIP Club and always use those direct Amazon sale links I post right down below. I wanna say thank you to all my current VIP Club members. You truly are amazing. And I truly hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.